absolutely adored this film. Um, what was it like co collaborating with the musical legend Lin Manuel Miranda? And also, is it true that he had, he had to be persuaded to be in the film? Uh, he, I did have to persuade him. He was like, John, I'm too old. I'm too old. I'm like, come on, bro. We need you. You can't have this movie without you. Uh, but it was up to Kiara, his best friend and the writer of the screenplay that um, convinced him and said, well, we're going to cut out all the Pita Agua songs if uh, if you're not in it. Uh, and so he jumped right in. Um, it was an amazing opportunity to work with him. How could you not want that? And then he was everything you hope he is. Uh, they say, don't meet your heroes. Meet this hero. He is an amazing creative leader, neighborhood leader, a personal uh, friend now. Um, and uh, we, we, he loves to make things. He loves to work. It's not about him being this legend. It's him doing the work. Uh, and his whole crew does that too. So I got to have my friends, my small crew and his small crew have this sort of marriage, creative marriage together. And I uh, hopefully we made some magic for people to enjoy. You're no stranger to creating a real visual spectacle. Um, and I was completely mesmerized throughout, especially with the swimming pool sequence. How um, much fun was it to create? Is it as much fun to create as it is us for, to watch it? I don't know if I describe it as fun. Uh, I describe it as exhilarating. It was, uh, you know, sometimes the, <laughs> the biggest thing you're making is, uh, uh, yeah, it's just uh, a lot of emotions uh, come rushing all at the same time. It's 500, 600 extras, giant pools. Uh, the, the extras, by the way, you have to keep them dry so that they don't get hypothermia. So you have to have uh, a towels that are constantly being dried for them. Uh, oh, and you have ages five to 80 in that. Oh, and you have to have lifeguards so nobody drowns. Oh, and there's all these giant lights. You can't fall into the water. Otherwise, everyone will be electrocuted. Oh, my God. Oh, it's raining. On the, supposed to be the hottest day of the summer in our movie. Oh my God. Oh, our whole cast is here. So they're watching me freak out. Oh my good. Like Lynn Manuel is sitting there, <laughs> exec press, some press people came out. I was like, it was a lot. But <laughs> if you watch the sequence, everyone's fighting for their life in it. And it's fantastic. I think it translates. It is incredible. Um, you have an amazing cast. How impressed were you with Anthony Ramos's take of Asnavi? Um, he's a triple threat, right? He can sing, dance, and act. He's like a deca threat. Like he has so many talents, it's in insane. I, you know, it wasn't a case of, hey, let's get this guy and put him in our movie. It's, oh my gosh, this guy speaks truth. Oh my gosh, he he speaks through music and he speaks through his movement, and he's from these neighborhoods. Oh my gosh, he understands this struggle. This movie needs to come from him. We're gonna use him as the lens. Um, and that's where it started. We, we, I met him at a coffee shop. We cried about our stories about how we got here. And I knew that um, we could tell this story as truthfully as possible. We have amazing music to lead us off, but that we had to uh, crew up and cast up people who, who could speak that same uh, language that he did through dialogue and music and dance. I was really struck by the inclusion of some really important issues within this musical setting. Mm -hmm. uh, why was now the right time to bring the story to the big screen? Um, you know, we always never wanted it to be political. We wanted to feel human. And, and, if, and if thematically our, our, our story was about home and what does home mean? Uh, what does, uh, who, what makes a home? How could you not include a person who only knows this place that they're, as their home um, and, and maybe ask to leave. I think that was just part of the tapestry of the neighborhood. I think that was a tap part of the tapestry about these questions that we all have. And we don't even give an answer. There's no happy ending to this. We don't, everyone's, I think he says, uh, uh, the chances are against you is what the lawyer says at some point. But, but, the, but what, but what uh, Anthony says after that, but we can try. That's, that's the whole key to the movie is that it's just about trying. Like, we can only do our best and we have each other to be there for each other and think the world will be the world and we can try to change it. But, um, but we're living here right now and we only have each other. Um, so let's, let's focus on that. That's a really nice message. John M. Chi, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. Good seeing you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!